Well, Justin Weinbrenner's name was added to this police memorial earlier this year. For family and for law enforcement, it was a tragedy along that thin blue line. The Akron Marathon uses this blue line, and Weinbrenner's dad and daughter will be here at the start tomorrow. Every day, uh, there's some reminder, there's some remembrance. For Rob Weinbrenner, the reminders are painful that his son Justin is gone. Rob, a former police officer himself, wears shirts to honor his son with his badge number on them, along with bracelets and a ring with a blue line. I stand tall, and I say that uh, not that I'm not sad in it by any means, but I stand tall, proud. And Rob says he was proud when the Akron Marathon asked him to ring a bell to start the race Saturday morning along with Justin's five-year-old daughter, Charlie, who started kindergarten this year. I think we're very honored to do that. We will be there to sell all the runners off and be there and cheer them on when they come in. Justin was off duty last November when he was shot and killed inside an Akron pub while trying to protect customers from a gunman. The accused killer, Keenan Ivory, goes on trial next Monday and, if convicted, could face the death penalty. I'll let justice... Take its course. Rob plans to be at the trial each day along with other relatives. He knows listening to the details will be very hard. I've sat through many trials. This one's going to be different because we'll be sitting through uh, one involving Justin. But for now, he's focusing on starting the marathon runners and how that honor keeps his son's memory alive. And we're going to be in the city that he worked for. And we're going to be in front of the community that he protected. So I, I believe, yeah, there's going to be a lot of emotion, definitely. 15,000 runners will be here tomorrow morning, and adding to the emotion for the Weinbrenner family, the start is actually on High Street, right across from the police department where Justin reported for roll call every day. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.